Good day, my good friends. Welcome to the website design and development tutorial for beginners. Thank you for all the support and encouragement. And please do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Also, please do send your comments or questions if you have one with regards to this tutorial or the topics being discussed. I will be sharing my work experience for this tutorial and if you have something to share as well, please do send in the comment section below. Let's get started. As a website designer and developer, the process flow is basically standard. The first thing that you're going to do is that potential clients will reach out to you for your skills. Then you set up an appointment with them in order to gather more information and their requirements. During the meeting, you can ask them about their specific colors or theme. There will be times wherein you need to check out their logo for the theme or color. Next will be the necessary information that they want to share to the public. The standard is about the company, the products or services, and ways for visitors or users to reach out to them online. If they want to sell, you will have to get all the relevant information about their products. You then inform them to give you time to make two or three mock-up designs based on their requirements and the information you gathered. When you're done with the mock-ups, you will have another schedule with them for a meeting, present your design, and explain all the details of your designs. And at the end of the meeting, they will have to decide which design to use or implement. You will then start to code or develop the selected or chosen design given by the client. Before you start working on your design mock-ups, you will have to gather and prepare all the materials you will need. You will need photos and I usually get the photos from following sites, pixels.com and you just type the keyword or keywords you want to search, browse over the photos, click the photo you want to download, choose the size, and click download. Another site is unsplash.com and the same thing with pixels.com you will need to type the keywords that you want to search and browse over the photos and select the size to download and I will put and provide all the URLs to the tools in the description. Please do take note that it's very important to read the terms and conditions or license agreement and better to acknowledge the source or the owner of the photo or photos you will be using by providing a URL to the owner in your projects. And I usually put them in the footer section for the initial result of the website. Let us pretend that a client wanted to have a website 
about cooking or they sell something related to cooking or baking I will go over to pixels.com and I will enter the keyword or keywords to search I will browse the result and select the relevant photos that I will be using by right clicking on the photo in order to open it in a separate tab I will then select the size and click download again just a reminder you will need to take note of the URL of the photo or the URL of the owner and save it somewhere for future use after downloading the photos the next step will be what image or photo editor to use in this tutorial I will be using Photoshop but there are plenty of other alternatives online number one is to go over Photoshop and download a free trial the second one will be GIMP this is an open source or free image editor and don't worry if you don't have a Photoshop I will be making a separate tutorial for using GIMP and for the third alternative we have an online app which is free called PhotoP and the dashboard looks similar to Photoshop and of course I will be making a different tutorial for PhotoP as well and for a reminder please read the terms and conditions or license from the respective tools or apps I almost forgot to mention Irfan View one of my favorite image editing tool it is free and very powerful and for the coding or development part we will be using the bootstrap framework it is a very popular grid system framework for coding websites you can go over get bootstrap.com to get the source code and check out their documentations and tons of examples that you can download we will be using the nav bar carousel columns rows and footer layouts for the grid designs for this tutorial and of course there are other sources of images that you can use once we start coding the design mockup the first one will be pixum.photos second will be placeholder.com the third one will be lorempixel.com all of them will give you a random image for your website development you will just need to copy paste the URLs and your desired image size for your content again read their terms and conditions or license this is it for now thank you for watching my friends and I'll see you in the next video God bless you all